Hello lovely people, welcome to the Geek Cupboard, I'm Penge and welcome to Rack and Slay, a roguelike dungeon crawler where we play as a billiard ball. And as you might imagine, given that we are a ball, we have to roll into our enemies to try to knock them down holes or into traps. So it's sort of like a dungeon crawler, mixed with billiards, mixed with treasure, and monsters, and explosions. Which A sounds completely bonkaloids, and B sounds like it could be a jolly good time indeed. So do you know what, here we go, time to dive right in I think, and get billiards. Okie doke, here we go, and it looks like the very first thing we get to do is pick a new item. We get to treat ourselves to a shiny new item before we then go and do billiarding and dungeon crawling and all that kind of stuff. Okay, so what do we have going on? I mean, the item over here called Banker does seem quite appealing because the picture is a gigantic pile of gold which does seem quite nice. It says over here as well, bonus gain five gold, and looking up there, I think right now we have three gold. Okay, so gold, spend it in the shop at the start of each level to re-roll items or gain bonuses, collect coins and gems to gain more. Okie doke, so what does Banker do for us? Gain one gold for every five gold you own now and at the start of each level to a maximum of 20 gold. Okay, so that rewards you for having a lot of gold and then kind of keeping it, but we might want to spend some gold. So if we spend the gold, that becomes a little bit less effective. Then we have Rich Collector, Gain five gold, okay, so it gets up to eight, and one gold for each item you own right now. Okay, we don't own any items, so that just gives us five gold. Or piggy bank, gain two gold now, and at the start of each level. Okay, so it's either banker or piggy bank. I think we might go for piggy bank, because that's nice and safe. Two gold now gets us up to five, and then we get two at the start of each level. Just a nice, safe, consistent thing to just give us some money to spend and maybe buy some exciting things. Do you know what? Yeah, we'll go for that, please. We shall go for piggy bank, and I think that's it. I don't think we can afford anything else. We could re-roll the available items. Okay, we don't want to do that because we'll pick the piggy bank. Uh, and then we could... I think that heals us up, but we don't need to right now, of course, because we've not started yet, so we're not taking damage. That is gain one additional shot. Okay, because, yeah, yeah, we have a number of shots because, you yeah, know, we're a ball and it's billiards. And then that gives us 5% additional shot power. Okay, that's quite good. And that gives us a random item. Okay, but it's quite expensive. Uh, right, okay, so the next level is level one because, of course, we haven't started. It looks like, what's that? Oh, a boss level. Okay, so level five and level 10 are boss levels. Okie doke. And that is, oh, okay, hang on. Can we see the level? Scout, hide the shop to take a peek at the upcoming level. Oh, let's go and do that, shall we? Okay, so this is the level that we're going to be facing. Right, I see. Okay, so there we are. That's us, a curious pool ball exploring a dungeon. Yep, absolutely. So there we are with the little bandana, which is quite good. And then we have some normal enemies. They're called Normie, a regular enemy with no special features. Okay, so we've got one, two, three, three of those, no, four of those. There's a bomb over there. And over here, there is a guardy. Shoots itself towards you once a turn if you touch another enemy first. Oh, Oh, I see. So if we take these normies out, that's going to try and come toward us. And I imagine if we get knocked down a hole, then it's going to be game over. Right, okay. And there are coins dotted about and a jewel and various other things and a big treasure chest and all that kind of stuff. Right, okay. So I think, are we ready to dive in? Let's give it a go, shall we? Let's dive in and just see how we get on. Right, here we go. So we need to knock these guys into these holes. So if we push the enemies in, they're defeated, and we take one damage when we fall in a hole ourselves. And I think we currently have seven out of seven health, and we have ten shots. And I think if we clear the level with shots remaining, we get an additional bonus to our gold, which would be quite nice. So how about if we sort of go there, look, if we sort of aim at you and clip you at the side, you should then go into that hole, and that's a glorious win for us. So, do you know what? Yeah, we'll do that, look. Oh, okay, right, we have to pick the strength of our shot. Okay, so I want it to be a sort of a middling shot, like, oh, hang on, I think we have to click, like that. Okay, so that one rolled toward us, because, of course, we hit one of his buddies, but his buddy is now gone, which is quite handy. The only thing is, we're now near this kind of block thing. Although, if we go in there, look, that might knock you into that hole there. Okay, 
Right, this is going to be fine. So like that. And I think if we do a moderate shot like that. Oh no, I forgot about him. And we didn't hit that thing anywhere near hard enough. Uh, oh, hang on. Where's, where's he gone? Oh, oh no, I didn't want to do that. I didn't want to do that. No, no, no. <laughs> I was, I was trying to click to move the screen around. Can, can we come out of that? Can we cancel this? Um, I'm going to press escape and see if that cancels our move there. Because I don't want to do that. Um, oh no. Okay, right. This, this could be quite bad. Do you know what? We're going to hit this as hard as possible. And we're going to ping around. Right, there we go. Like that. And I think we just sort of smashed into the wall. Oh, was I was I aiming at the wall? Oh yeah, okay, that didn't that didn't work entirely well. Okay, never mind. Yeah, I wonder where the the other one had gone, because he's not on the um, he's not on the sort of field of play anymore. He's kind of vanished off the side of the screen. Um, okay, right. So how about we try and ping you in that direction? Is that going to be okay? Are you going to go into that hole there? I think so. So if we hit you quite hard like that, bother you. Oh. Okay, he's pinging off things. Okay, right, fine. Now, just to point this out, by the way, I'm not very good at billiards or pool or snooker or whatever. That kind of thing where you have a table that's, you know, flat and green with pockets on the sides. And then you have to try and sort of knock the balls into the corners. I'm not very good at that. I'm not very good. And I think it shows, but you know what? It's fun. We're going to give it another go. What if we knock you into you? And then you can sort of go into that hole, maybe. Let's give that a go. And we'll just wallop you really. Oh, we completely missed. Although, ah, you've fallen into there. Okay, that sort of worked out okay. We have five shots left. What does that do? Redirect. Any ball touching this will change its direction. As indicated, works once per turn. Oh, okay, right. Um, So now, I think if we hit you like that quite hard, that should be quite good. So boop you. We've hit that treasure, which... I, I don't know what that did. Did we get something out of it? Did we pick up one bit? Special obstacle that spawns a coin in random position once per turn when it's hit. 10% chance to spawn a gem worth five gold instead. Okay, so now we need to get you, but you're around the corner. You're hiding behind this big block thing. So could we potentially... Oh, no. Oh, okay. I was going to go to here, look. But if we go there, we can pick up some money... But then we're going to fall into a big hole, which is not going to be great. Okay, we need to sort of roll behind you and then just sort of hit you. Okay, right. I don't know how to do this bit. So we're just going to kind of do that and hope that's okay. Right, there we go. Look, that's sort of fine. Right, straighten up. Splendid. Okay, I imagine if we touch those. Ah, yes. Okay, they instantly defeat enemies to the spikes, but we take damage. Okay, so can we sort of smack into you and hope that you just sort of move around a bit because I don't know what else to do with you so we're gonna I know do that look that'll do and hit you really hard as hard as we can and oh we fell in the hole okay so we've taken a point of damage because we pinged into that hole but now if we can we just hit you again <laughs> this is gonna be fine there we go like that and oh I kind of thought you might go into that hole there bother okay you did not do that although we could go down here we've got one shot left this is it uh okay right yeah this is it so i think we need to okay what we're gonna do is we're just gonna just i don't know throw caution to the wind and we're gonna go boop like that and hope that does something and it hasn't done anything at all okay no so we take a point of damage so we clear the level but we've taken damage because we didn't defeat all the baddies Okay, no, that's fine. I get that. That makes sense. So, right, we're going to be possibly a little bit better next time. I mean, I think... Are these free? These seem to be free, these things. We get to choose an item. So, a lucky coin, when you consume a collectible, gain a gold. Bribe, gain two gold. During your first shot in each level, one enemy you touch is instantly defeated if you can pay two gold. Or gain 15% shot power. That could be quite good, couldn't it? That means we're going to hit things significantly harder. Yeah, we'll go for that, please. We shall go for whacking the enemy ball things a bit harder. And we could potentially spend some money to upgrade our shot power even more. But you know what? No, I think that's fine. We're okay. So, yeah, we'll confirm that, please. So, plus 15% shot power. Um, oh, okay. What's that? Foggy. 
blinds you for the next turn when you touch it, you don't see a trajectory prediction. Oh no. So if we touch that, we don't get our nice kind of little arrow pointing where we're going. Oh, okay, that's not great. And that is a reverse teleporter. Any ball entering this will exit from you the teleporter in the level moving in the opposite direction. Works once per turn. Oh, that's going to be terribly confusing, isn't it? Okay. <laughs> I think let's take the foggy one out. And if we end up up here, we can just sort of try and whack these into that hole. So, okay, let's give this a go. So like that, boop you into there. But now we're covered in fog and we can't really see. So yeah, we don't have our kind of aiming thing. Although we do have our aiming thing. Okay, that's a bit confusing. We're just going to sort of hit you really hard and hope that goes well. Okay, you went through the teleporter. <laughs> right. Okay, did we did we take anybody out? I'm not entirely sure we took anybody out, but okay, right. We'll then go to here and take you out. So we'll get a moderate hit on you. So you can go into that hole. Oh, we fell down a hole as well. <laughs> I'm not very good at predicting where we go in this. Right, okay. So we've got rid of two people. Seven shots left. I say people. Two enemy normie ball things. Uh, we've got five left. We have five left. Uh, okay. How do we deal with this then? We need to get here. And then try and sort of knock them all into each other. Um, hide that box. Ah, right, okay. So get rid of that. Ah, marvellous. Okay, that might make things a little bit better. If we go like that, we're going to bounce up. Okay, we're just going to try it. We're going to try a really strong hit like that. And boom. Oh, okay. We hit a spike, but we did take somebody out. But also we crashed into a spike. We're down to three health. <laughs> oh, dear. Okay, no, this is this is all good. This is all good. We can deal with this. Apart from we can't get to those ones there. But we could possibly try to get to you. So could you potentially... Oh, what if we go there, look, and try and... Is that going to knock you into that spike? I don't think it is. I don't think we can knock you into that spike. Uh, but we can at least get down there. So we'll do that. Cannon into you. That didn't do anything at all. That did, that was no use, no good. Um, we could potentially, yeah, there we go. We'll do that. That might knock you into there. So that might be quite handy. So right, boom, there we go. That didn't work at all. <laughs> that barely grazed you. You didn't even move. Okay, four shots left to try and salvage this before, before I think if we finish a level with these four still in play, then we are done for because we only have three health remaining because I keep injuring ourselves. Okay, now this is all fine. This is fine. Right, so if we go like that and we'll just see what happens. That's that's the best way to do this. Okay, one's gone. One's gone. But now we are behind this thing, which is not overly helpful. <laughs> okay. Um, I don't quite know what to do now. We've got three shots left and we have to take at least one of them out okay do you know what we're gonna do that we're gonna hit this really hard we're gonna collect a gem possibly ah i thought we might clip you botherations okay so we've got 16 money but we could potentially heal up there is a healing thing isn't there so if we knock you into there that might be quite good so a fairly strong hit on you knocks you into there and we have one shot left okay what can we do with this one shot I mean, okay, what's that? That is healing, and that is power. Okay, but if we go down here, we might hit that spike, and that would be quite bad. Uh, we could... Oh, we can't use that, can we? Hang on, we no, we can't use that for anything, because that's going to ping us out in the wrong direction. The only hope we have is to just, I don't know, go full strength on this one here, and hope he bounces off that, and then bounces off that, and then bounces in that hole. That's all I can think that we could do. Joe, you know let's give it a go, shall we? No guts, no glory. And it worked, but we also fell in somehow. Okay. <laughs> brilliant. Br completely brilliant. Okay. Okay, good. Right. So we are, we're on one, we're on one health. Okay. We will take, yeah, here we go. Oh, healing's only heal one. Oh, okay. We'll heal up a point. Oh, it's three money each time. Okay. Do you know what? We will spend some money on healing up and also we will gain one additional shot 
because that is going to be quite handy because yeah having one more shot might make quite a big difference okay so a treasure map they contain extra gems, or levels. Uh, each level gain five gold when you fall into a hole for the first time with hidden stash. <laughs> the game has clearly been watching us playing. Or Impaler. Before your first shot in each level, spawn one spike that surrounds you until it kills an enemy on touch. Oh. Okay. So we get a spike friend. I quite like that. That might be quite useful. So we don't have to necessarily pot somebody. We can just kill them with a spinny spike. Yeah, we'll go for that, please. That could be quite fun. Um, and then, yeah, do you know what? That's fine. Yes, we'll go for that. So we've got two money left and we're only on three health. Okay, no, this. Oh, no. Now there are traps. Okay, take one damage when we touch the trap. Enemies touching it are instantly defeated. Okay, that's good news. That gives us a, a reroll in the shop. What's that, though? Pushy. Increases the speed of any balls touching it significantly. Oh no, that's going to cause all sorts of chaos. Um, okay, so could we potentially touch you with the spike and take you out? That might be quite handy, mightn't it? Just do a sort of a moderate strength thing. We, I thought we were going to fall into a hole, but we didn't. But, um, but yeah, there we go. Oh, I thought, hang on, what does our spike do? Hey, what does our spike do? Before your first shot in each level, spawn one spike that surrounds you until it kills an enemy on touch. Oh. Oh, I see. It didn't touch them. Ah, right. I see. Um, key. Grants you one additional item pickup in the next shop. Enemies grab it and carry it around, but you still get it when you defeat them. Oh, that could be quite fun, couldn't it? Get an extra item in the shop. How about we try... And grab the key, grab a reroll, bounce off that wall and hit you down here somewhere. <laughs> I mean, given that I don't know what I'm doing, that's quite ambitious. But you know what? Let's try, shall we? And boom! And boop. Okay, knock them into that. Go on. Onto the traps. Ah, that was... It nearly worked. It nearly worked. Okay. Can we bounce off the wall and knock you in that hole? That's what I'm thinking we try now. So there we go. Boop knock you in there don't, we don't want to fall in that okay we didn't fall in wonderful right and then can we knock you into you onto those traps because that might be quite good just a, a moderate shot maybe okay one's gone one is one's destroyed okay this is fine and then what can we do with you i don't know what we can do with you if we hit you you're gonna bounce off like that maybe you'll head up into those traps i don't know <laughs> we're just gonna try it we're gonna hit you very hard and we have fallen into a hole great great that was that was a good move that that was a great move okay we're just gonna try and knock you into them and then hope that they go somewhere we're just gonna again no guts no glory boom we fell into another hole but they also fell into some holes. Okay, we've got one health. We have to be incredibly careful here because this could go very wrong. Okay, we want to knock you into this hole here, please. Please please just work. Don't fall in yourself. And boom. Okay, we get four gold and we are still in the game. Okay, heal up at least, at least three times. We need four out of seven. Okay, so Trapper. You don't trigger traps. Levels contain two extra traps. Oh, that could be quite good. And we get another item as well because we picked up the key. Mirror. 20% chance to activate each turn. At the end of the turn, apply the same force to the closest enemy as your last shot did to yourself. What? Or the gang. After the first turn each level, shoot eight mini balls around you one time. Oh, that sounds amazing. Yeah, we'll have that, please. Because that sounds really good. Right, so go to the next thing. And now we've got... Okay, Lucky Coin. We saw that before. Rainbow Die. When you use a free item reroll, randomly gain 1 gold. 1% 1 shot power. Or heal 1%. Okay, when well, you use a free item reroll, is that, is that that thing? Or it's over 19. What does that mean? Is that some sort of billiards pun that I'm not getting? Gain 5% shot power. Then gain 1 gold for every percent of shot power you have over 19 percent oh we don't have that uh, okay we could re-roll these 
Let's re-roll them. We've got four free re-rolls. Let's do it. Okay, another spiky thing. Uh, parting present. 20% chance to activate each turn. When you take your shot, throw a bomb in the opposite direction. Oh, that's just going to end, uh, end badly, isn't it? Because I'm then going to trigger those bombs. Or punching ball. When you defeat a non-normie enemy, gain 2% shot power. Yeah, okay. I want something a bit more exciting. Okay, we're going to re-roll it again. Medic. When you defeat an enemy, there is a 20% chance of healing pickup spawns in the level. Stampede. If you defeat at least one enemy in a turn, gain plus 20% temporary shot power. Or Vampire Survivor. I like it. It's a good name. It's a great game. When you spike an enemy, heal one. Okay. Maybe if we take Medic, we could then try and pick up the sort of the healing items. We'll go for that, I think. We'll go for that one. Okay, right. So into the next level we go. So level four, we have four health out of a maximum of seven. That is a stopper. Stops any ball that touches it immediately. That is a ball pile. Shoots out three mini balls behind and to the sides of its collector. Then we've got boosting redirect to things that just ping things in those directions, I think, at speed. Okay. And then, yeah, various traps and things. Oh, that's a rang on. That's a redirector. That's a boosting redirector. Okay, so that is marginally different. And we have a beastie. Deals two damage to you instead of one at the end of the level. Okay, we have to get rid of you. And there's some sort of pirate. Shooty. Shoots a mini ball towards you at the end of each turn. Ah, we have to get rid of you. Oh, and there's a rock one. Rocky. Okay, Rocky is here. Adrian. A big heavy enenemy that is not easy to push around. Now, oh, botherations. Okay, right. I think we get rid of the terrifying tentacle one. So we'll get rid of you. Okay, so do a fairly strong hit. Hopefully you can roll into their botherations. Okay, however... We did just fire the little kind of mini ball things everywhere. We've killed one thing over here, which I suppose is quite good. I don't know if we got rid of anything else. Okay, and you didn't fall in that hole, which is a little bit of a nuisance, but okay. Um, if we go to here, that's going to fire us over here. And then, do you know what? Let's see what happens. Let's give it a go. On to that. And we, and it didn't really do anything. We just knocked them about down here and back up again. Um... Oh, there is a mini ball there. Okay, that was fun. We did a thing with the mini balls. Uh, and we will... We can go through those and then knock you. And then we're going to come back this way. So if we do a fairly big hit like that, we fell... I thought we were going to bounce off you. But no, we fell in the hole. Oh, bother. Okay, that's unfortunate. Oh, and they've pick, he's picked up the shiny gem. Although, he died. That one, the big rock one, got killed on the spike. Yes. Okay, that was all part of my master plan. Obviously it was. Yes, I knew that was going to happen. Right, we're going to go over here and hit you into that one. That's the plan. Okay, so fairly strong hit. Boop and boop. Okay. Oh, and we just got hit. Okay, that's fine. We're back over here, which isn't ideal. But I think we can go up here, look. We can knock you into there with a fairly good shot. You go into there, then ow. Oh no, I'm not on the trap. Bother. Okay, down onto two health. <laughs> not not brilliant. And we can't get you now because you're round the corner. Oh, you're the one shooting the mini balls. Now oh, bother. Okay, go on there. That's gonna knock you. We need to get you as well. Oh, this isn't going well, is it? Okay, hang on. What can we do? What is our best course of action? If we go onto that. We're then going to fly down here and hit you. Hopefully, if we hit you at force, you might go over there into that hole. Let's give that a go. Let's just go like that and we will see. Okay, you've gone into the other hole and then we've bounced back up here. He's going to shoot a thing at us to knock us back over here. <laughs> Which, oh, hang on. We could then take you out with a fairly hefty whack. So like that take you out okay right this is fine we will ah we will not survive the level right now because if it ends there's two enemies so we're going to take two health so we need to oh no we need to get I, we can't get near we have to have a sort of like a i don't know what you call it, like a placement shot or something um unless 
can we okay how ridiculous is this we 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 go from here we rolly 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 roll and roll and roll and we go all the way along here we hit that wall and then we sort of try and go across those planks is is that ridiculous is that preposterous because the hole's got planks on it there's a nice coin there so we could try and roll over there and then we'd be sort of here-ish and then we could try and knock that one somewhere do you know what again like we've said no guts no glory let's give it a go and okay we didn't hit you but we didn't die either which i suppose is part of the part of the skill right okay so now we just need to whack you i think this is probably going to result in us falling into a hole is oh you've gone into there they've gone into there okay two shots left can we somehow oh no are we going to clip this thing are we going to clip that i don't want to clip that we want to knock you into either a hole or a spike that would be i mean if we could do that i think we're going to clip this thing I mean, that would send you into that hole. Do you know what? We're just going to give it a go. Let's try. Okay, we hit that thing. Okay, bother. Never mind. Right, we've got one go left. We could potentially try and hit you into a spike, which might possibly be a better option. So, do you know what? We'll go for that. So, boop, into a spike. And, oh, there you go. All clear was good. And a healing thing did appear. But, uh, yeah, we might need to spend some money on healing up a little bit again. There we go. We'll take that. Um, magnet. Increase your collectible pickup range by 50%. Okay, that can be quite handy. Bottle souls. Gain two maximum health, then heal two. Spawn two additional normie enemies this level. Okay, that's going to be bad. Dice shield. When you take damage, gain one free item reroll. Oh, these aren't overly brilliant. That one's okay, though. So we can pick things up from a greater range. So we might pick up more items or something. Okay, we'll have that, please. And, oh, it's a it's a boss level. The boss has to be defeated last. Bomber variant, 50% chance to spawn a bomb at the end of the turn. Oh, wonderful. Okay, we will have, I think, surely we need to, I think we need to heal up as much as we can. Do you know what? Spend all the money on healing. If we're going into a boss fight, we want to go into it as prepared as we can be. Uh, right, yeah, there we go. Wonderful. So hopefully, with our magnet, we can pick up a few extra bits and bobs along the way to maybe help us out. But uh, right, here we go. Let's go into a boss fight and just hope that it doesn't all go horribly, horribly wrong. But I suspect it might do. Right, okay. So we have quite a few of the normies. That's okay. We can take care of those. We've got a rock one down here that might be tricky to push around. Over here... We have a swordy. Its rotating sword deals one damage to you on touch and then thankfully breaks. Okay, so we've got a swordy over there. And then I think the boss is just here. Bossy. If there are still other enemies when this one is defeated, it respawns in a random position instead. Bomber variant, 50% chance to spawn a bomb at the end of the turn. Okay, so we have to get rid of all the other ones first and then get rid of you in 11 shots. And there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight enemies anyway, and then also you. So there's nine enemies to take care of, and we have 11 shots. And as we've seen, I'm not a very good shot. Okay, no, th this is going to be fine. This is going to work so well. Uh, okay, so can we... Uh, I don't. Where do we go first? <laughs> Nowhere seems an obvious choice. Uh, how difficult is it to knock the stone guy about? If we hit him really hard there, will he fall into that hole? Do you know what? Let's give it a go, shall we? Hit him really hard. We've... Okay, has gone. And we've hit a spike. Okay, so already we've lost a point of health. Brilliant. Off to a flyer there. Well done. And our little sort of uh, extra ball things didn't seem to do anything, which is unfortunate. Okay, if we come down here, we knock you... I might mean to move you over a little bit. I want to knock you into... No, not there. I want to knock that one. Uh, oh, we could knock him into that. He might fall down there, possibly. That might be okay. Okay, right. That, a moderate hit, look. And you fall in. Right, we bounce off. Stop there. Stop there. Don't fall down a hole. Okay, no, this is good. Two shots. Two enemies down. We've also taken damage, but yeah, that's okay. Right, if we then... Take a shot over to there. So knock you into there. So 
so that should be okay. So again, a moderate hit. Don't fall in, don't fall in, don't fall in. Okay. Okay, a bomb's appeared. There's a bomb in front of us. Hello there, bomb. Okay, the little the little fuse is doing a thing. The bomb explodes and pushes away nearby balls when any ball touches it. Oh, good. Right, okay. We are going to go up there and knock you into there. So again, a sort of a moderate strength hit. Oh, we went across the trap. Bother. However, the spike did kill that one. Okay, so that's, again, not so bad. Uh, we've got to get rid of these three and then take on the big boss. Uh, we could potentially... Oh, no, there's a, there's a hole in the way. <laughs> Bother. We can't get to any... Oh, no, hang on. Can we get down there? No. Okay. We could... Ooh. We could certainly try that shot. Come all the way down here. Pick up a coin. Roll across the bridge thing, the wooden planks over the hole. Pick up that coin. Bounce off there and try and knock you into there. If... I mean... I, Ambitious, I think, is the right word for that. But we've, I think we give it a go. Let's try, shall we? Here we go. Let's see how horribly wrong that can go. Boop. And... Okay. Right. You didn't fall in, but neither did we. So I'm taking that as a win. That's absolutely fine. So we're then going to knock you into there with a fairly easy shot, I would have thought. Right. Okay. That's fine. And now... He, that thing is chucking bombs around everywhere. And I don't like it. I don't like it. Okay. Um, we need to get rid of you. So if we knock you... That's not going to knock you into a hole, I don't think, is it? Can we knock you into a bomb? Ooh. Could we go here, push you in that direction? Are you going to hit that bomb? Let's give that a go. Let's see if that works. And boom. And yes. Oh. Okay. So the, the one with the sword's gone, but you're still here. Oh, okay. <laughs> that is not what I thought was going to happen, but right you are. Um, and then, oh, And then if we hit you there, that might push you into a spike. Okay, no, do you know what? This might work. This might actually work. We might do an exciting pool-based thing. You're into a spike, so you are now gone. And then we've just got to get rid of you. We've got three goes left to get rid of you. So if we hit you there, you're gonna kind of come along here. Okay, maybe we need to move it over air. Oh, bother, ever so slightly. Sort of like that maybe? No, I don't think so. I think maybe more like that. I think we'll hit you and you will go down here into this hole. Possibly, maybe, I don't know, but we've got three shots left. Let's give it a go, shall we? So boom, and you are gone. Oh, yes. Two shots left. We got given two additional gold. Um, we've got nine gold. We could get 15% more shot power. Ricochet. Make the outer walls of the level more bouncy. Increase your bounce off speed. Gain 5% shot power. Or when there is an explosion, gain two gold. Okay, we don't see too many explosions. Um, I don't, I, just 15% shot power. Just get that just nice and easy. That's quite straightforward. And then, do we take another 5% shot power or do we heal up? We're back onto regular levels. Uh, do you know what? I think I think we'll take the shot power. Let's take that. So up to 20. And then when we go to the level, that item is applied. We're on plus 35%. Okay. Right. That's quite good. What's that? A bomb cannon. Shoots a bomb that explodes on impact at the end of a turn if it was touched by any ball. Rotates after shooting. Okay, so that's going to shoot bombs, but I think it's pointing that direction. So I don't think it'll bother us too much. We've got a portal thing. We could potentially use the portal thing. We've got... Oh, crikey. We've got that guy. A rock guy. I like the real, like, normie, rocky, swordy. They all end in Y. Um, so yeah, so the rock one and a sword one. We have got a key as well. The key is quite good. I do like the key. Uh, what if we try and hit you into that hole and then we sort of bounce? Oh, but you're going to get us with that sword. That is a nuisance, isn't it? Okay, what if we hit the rock guy into you and our sort of hit power is now quite strong? So let's see what happens, shall we? And boom, and we bounce stuff and we hit mini ball things. Okay, okay. That, I think he's gone. Oh, we've taken two others out as well. So, yeah, look, we did quite a good job there. 
inadvertently, but we did an okay job. Uh, we could try, or we could hit you into a spike. And that'll sort you out, which would be quite good. So yeah, boop like that. You, oh, I think we killed you with our own spike because it's now gone. Okay, right, that worked fine. That was pretty good. Um, okay, I don't want to go through the portal. I think we go there and we knock you into that hole. So yeah, we'll go for that. So just yeah, fairly simple hit, just a nice straightforward pot. There we go, lovely. And then, right, what do we do here? Oh, that's a nuisance, isn't it? I, was, I wanted to get that one there. We can't get that one. Um, okay, so we've got to hit you because we can't get to that one because he's behind this sort of uh, boosting redirector thing and we can't get to you because you're behind the portal. So we're going to have to go for you and... I don't know, they bounce off that? Yeah, they bounce off that. Okay, let's try and hit you and just bounce you around a bit. Let's give that a go, shall we? So, boom, and... Oh, okay. We They did something, but I'm not quite sure what happened, but I don't think it was overly effective. <laughs> right, okay. Can we now get down there? No, we can't get down there. Um, oh, I don't know how to deal with these guys. There's, there's not that many. We need a hole here, please. Can we generate some sort of hole over here? That'd be great. Uh, okay. If we just whack you, we'll see what happens. Let's just do that, shall we? And boom! There we go. Don't fall in. Don't fall in. You did fall in up there. That's good. And we didn't, which is brilliant. Okay. We're going to try and pot you into there with a decent size hit like that. Oh, we've teleported. That might work out okay. That might work out quite well yes if we hit you like that you might then roll into that hole yes do that please a gentle hit okay we took a we took a hit there although did it count because the thing was already gone but okay we're on five health that's fine so right and we get two of these we get to pick an item and then we get to pick another one because we got the key thingamajig right wild ball when you touch an enemy, shoot one triple speed mini ball in a random direction. Is that every time? Okay, that's quite good. Telekinesis. 20% chance to activate each turn. When you hit an enemy for the first time, another random enemy receives the same hit. Or golden eye drop. Now at the start of each level, you are blind for one turn, but gain five gold. Um, I like the idea of shooting out the little mini ball thing. So we'll take that, because that's quite good. And then, oh, heal two now, and at the start of each level. Free healing, yes, absolutely. That's that's a complete no-brainer. So we're going to heal up, and then we'll heal two at the start of every level. Yes, perfect, brilliant. Right, we'll keep the uh, we'll keep the gold, and um, and then yeah, spend it next time on I don't know a random item or a power increase or an extra shot would be quite good. An extra shot would be very welcome. So right. Here we go. Um, oh, what's that? Mud. Ah, okay. So if anything goes over that, it loses speed. And then we've got a couple of rocky guys and a foggy guy. Oh, and then a boomy. Explodes and pushes any balls nearby, and nearby balls when defeated. Oh, marvellous. Right. How are we going to deal with this then? <laughs> you lot. You lot are all causing me problems. Right. Hit you into you. And we'll see what happens. We'll just see what happens, I think. We'll try and ping you around a bit. So, okay. There is, I notice, a little kind of marker there when we have our shot. Are we supposed to aim for that to make it the strongest shot possible? I'm not quite sure. I also don't really know what's happening anymore. Are we going to... Do we not go boom? There we go. Right. So, all the little kind of mini ball things have come out. I don't think we took anybody out. I don't think we got rid of anybody, unfortunately, but okay. Ah, right, we can't see. We can see where we're going to aim, but we can't see what happens after that because we've got the fog thing on us. Okay, I think we will do that. Try and bash you into... Ah, right, there we go. So one's gone down. That's quite good. And I think we can then take you out. So we'll try and roll toward you. Right, so that's two gone. Oh, I was hoping to pick up that thing, but never mind. Um... Then we can try and get rid of that one over there. So whoop, like that, Marvel. Oh, they both went. Okay, that looked like I knew what I was doing there. That, I mean, yes, of course, that was pure skill. 
pure skill that was. I aim for that. Aim for and got, obviously. Uh, right, we'll take you. I will hit you because we go through this gem. So that might be quite nice. We'll do a big hit on you. So boom, and we got the gem and you're just going to roll back. But we have got a bit more money now, which is quite good. Uh, and can we hit you into the bomb? Can we do that? So can we hit you into the bomb? We crashed into a spike and none of the others died. Okay, <laughs> bother. Right, that didn't work. That was terrible. Uh, we will, five shots left. Got five shots. That, the little mini ball thing might help. So let's go for this and see what happens. Oh, we're next to the bomb. We're next to the bomb. Okay, the bomb didn't explode. I thought the bomb might have exploded at that point. And Mike said, you're too close. Away with you. Right. If we go down here and hit you, you're going to roll into that corner. Are we going to roll into this hole here? Do you know what? We've got our magic tincture stuff. We heal up two at the start of every turn anyway. So if we lose one, it's not so bad. So let's try that. And no, they've gone into there. And ah, botherations. Okay, no fun. I thought they might hit that and fly into the hole. Um, we will try and hit you to then hit them to go on that to fly into that hole this this is fine this is all good that's how physics works apart from we've killed ourselves again on a spike they've hit a spike which is quite good but we've also hit a spike which is not so great although if we go there if we hit you there does that ping you into that hole let's give it a go and boom and are they in yes they're in we did it i think we've done it one shot left free bit of gold that's very nice pacifist once per level if you did not touch any any enemies in a turn gain three gold i have got the vampire survivor thing and the bomb thing okay we are going to we're gonna regenerate those um oh gluttony when an enemy consumes a healing pickup there is a 50 percent chance for it to be defeated instantly oh okay we've not really seen that happen very much after the first turn in each level, throw four bombs around you one time. Bombs explode on impact. Or, yeah, when we take our shot, we throw a bomb in the opposite direction. Oh, this... Oh, they, no, I don't, none of them. They're all too dangerous. Levels contain two extra bombs. Oh, piggy bank. Give us more gold, please. More gold is useful. We'll have another piggy bank. So we're going to get two of those, because I think they stack. I think they stack. Right. Okay, <laughs> we're on, I don't know what level, eight out of 10. Okay, right, so I think, do we go up there and just take you out and go through this gem? Because that's quite nice and straightforward and it gives us some lovely money to spend later on. Oh, what's that? Floaty, slows down quickly after falling into a hole, spawns a normie enemy in a random position. Oh, bother Asians. Okay, so it's gonna, if it goes into a hole, it floats back out, but then loses its balloons. Oh, crikey. Okay. Okay, so that one, we might want to try and hit into a trap if we can. Or get it with our spiky thing. But okay, let's take you out first. We'll go for you. So go like that. But oh, I think we killed it with our spike. Okay, I mean, that's fine. And then, oh, are we on that thing? We didn't quite go on that thing. Okay, right. We can then... Oh, hang on a minute. Can we hit you... Can we hit you into that spike? I don't think you're going to get that spike. Oh, that's a bit of a shame. Uh, we could try and... Do you know what? If we ping you there, are you going to bounce into that trap? Let's give that a go. And boom. Ah, uh, oh, we hit you. We hit you on the way back in. That's unfortunate. Oh, things are pinging around still. Okay. Oh, there's some spiky things. Hang on. What are the spiky things? Switcher. A wall that is only active every other turn. Don't stand inside it when it activates. Yes, because we'll get spiked to death. Okay, yeah, I'm with you on that. That's fine. Um, I think we knock you. Let's knock Shooty into a hole because Shooty is shooting at us and that's a bit annoying. Okay, don't fall in. Don't fall in. Please stay there. Uh, right, okay, we did. Thank you for not falling in. We can then knock you into that one at the top. Okay, so boop. That was, that was quite good. That looked like I knew what I was doing. I know, but it looked like I knew what I was doing. And then, could we, can we pot you? I don't think we can. Or we could possibly hit you there and knock you into a trap. That might be quite good. Can you do that onto that trap? Aha, right, okay, so you've been killed by a trap. We've got six shots left. 
and four baddies. Okay, so we're going to take damage at the end of this turn, I think. I think that's fair. Um, that's... No, that's not going to end well, is it? What if we do... What if we do that? Knock you into a spike. So we'll do that. So hang on a minute. So whoop. Oh, you didn't... Oh, we glanced off a spike, but we didn't hit it. Okay, that wasn't brilliant. But we can now at least get you in there. So pot you into... That. Don't fall in. Don't fall in. We fell in. That's a very sad. That was the official Don't Fall In song. Um... Okay, okay, right. What do we do here? Because we've got four shots left and we can't target anything. Do we just, do we go on this thing? But what's that going to do? That's going to catapult us to here. Do you know what? Let's try that. Let's go for that. Oh, okay. I thought we were going to go in this direction, but we went in the other direction. Right, that might be quite good if we could then pot you. Because then at least that's something out of the way, isn't it? Right, so one down... And we've got two shots left. Okay. I don't quite know how to pot either of you. Because you're annoyingly behind this redirector thing. And you're quite far away over there. Okay, what if we just hit you really hard and see what happens? Let's just give that a go. Wee! Boom! And we possibly nearly died and you didn't move at all okay that seems a little bit harsh <laughs> why didn't you move why didn't you move at all uh okay one last try to maybe try to get you to roll into there and if not we just have to take the hit we'll take the hit okay boom now they they don't move when they're on the walls they don't move so much i thought they might bounce off a bit but okay two damage never mind Never mind. So pacifist, that's if we didn't touch anybody in a turn, we get gold. Levels contain two extra healing pickups, or at the end of a level, gain 1% shot power and two gold per remaining shot. I like the idea of healing pickups in the levels. We shall take that, thank you. And with our 32 gold, we shall buy an additional shot. And do we, oh no, we're going to heal up at the start. So we'll spend our money on more shot power. And then we're down to two. But yeah, we're going to heal up because we have our healing thingamajig. We've got our tincture. So yeah, okay. That seems fine. Yeah, let's go to the next level. I think it's the penultimate one. So it's level, is that nine? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, that's nine. And then we've got the big boss at the end. But right, okay. Let's dive into level nine and see what's going on. Okay, we have a sneaky thing down here. What's that? Robbie. Hello, Robbie, with your little hood on. Steals one gold from you on touch and then evaporates immediately, if you have at least one gold. Oh, well, isn't that fun? Brilliant. Okay, so you're just going to nix her from us, and then vanish into the night. Marvellous. Right, I think, if we go for you, you should be able to go on that spike. So you go onto a spike, please. Okay, that was good. Oh, okay, we've been pushed onto the same spike. That was less good. <laughs> uh, we have knocked a few of the little mini ball things around and they didn't seem to do very much at all ah bother uh okay can we hit you into there and then off that ledge possibly that might be quite good if we just go like that ah, right you went down there that's good you've got the key we wouldn't mind that key to be fair can we whack you with that or do you know what you to play it safe play it safe just pot that one just boop nice gentle hit oh uh, did it? Oh, I think we killed them. With, ah, we killed them with our spike. Okay, now that, again, that's fine as well. That's okay. That's acceptable. I think, do we take a shot and go for the healing thing? Is that what we do? Or do we try and clobber you and sort of make you move somewhere? What well, if we did that? That might make you bounce off the wall. We'll give that a go, look. So we'll go up like that. Boing. And... You've not done much. You're going to rush toward us now. I don't know if we can get rid of you. Uh, no. Oh, hang on. If we hit you incredibly hard, and it goes across there, you might hit that and get flung into the thing. I don't. Let's give that a go. And whoop. And we fall in a hole. And they did not. Brilliant. Oh, good. <laughs> I'm glad that went that way. Then excellent. Okay, we could pick up a healing thing but then we might roll into that so if we do want to try and get that we're gonna have to sort of roll over it but then not bounce off that wall oh this do you know what if we get it 
and we don't hit the wall, then we've healed up a point. If we hit the spike, then it's, it's you know, whatever, it's fine. We've lost a shot and that's kind of it. So let's try and roll into that healing thing with that look. And stop, 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 stop. Yes. Okay, that looked vaguely competent, which is quite good. Right, we'll take a shot there to pop you into this hole. So again, just a relatively sort of gentle shot. That's fine. Ah, we picked up another healing thing. Amazing. Uh, and then, could we potentially hit you into that? We might go into that hole there, but that's a, it's a risk I'm willing to take. That's fine. So do that. Knock you into the spike, which was pretty good. And I think, did we pick up the money they had as well? Right, okay. I don't mind losing the point of, of gold. That's fine. So we'll try and pot you by pushing you onto that thing. Okay. They just literally vanish. Oh, they don't even move. Okay, I thought they might sort of bounce off and move. But no, they just sort of actually evaporate. Right. Knock you into there. And then you're going to float back up. We fell down a hole. Okay, no, it's fine. We're back on. We're back on. Oh, but you're in a really awkward place. <laughs> oh, bother. Okay, we need to go up into that corner. So we're going to have to do a little sort of gentle rolling shot. That wasn't as gentle as I thought it might be, but I think we should be able to sort this out. So one little shot, you can pop into there and boop. Marvellous. Okay, so it took 12 shots. It was a good decision to buy the extra shot. Okay, and this is it. This is... Oh, no, hang on. Choose an item. Two more afterwards. Oh, okay, that's exciting. Uh, two more healing pickups. We'll take that, please. One more afterwards. Um, little buddy, when you touch an enemy, shoot one mini ball behind you. Yeah, okay, we'll take that, because that's quite good. And then materialist, when you gain an item, also heal. Extra bullet. Oh, hang on. Permanently gain one additional shot, but every level one normally transforms into another enemy type. Oh, no, that sounds terrible. Or heal up now at the start of every level. We're fully healed. Um... Okay, what we're going to do is, we're going to get more shot power. We're going to spend 11 money on more shot power. Because this is it. This is the final boss. So, we'll take that. And then, we will spend our remaining money on re-rolling those. Okay. Uh, you don't trigger traps. Levels contain two extra traps. That might keep us alive. That means we can roll over a trap and just sort of step over it. Like like a sort of yeah, like a thief in D and D, they can do things where they don't trigger traps. Yeah, we'll have that, please. Um, yeah, we'll do that. That seems quite good, right? Here we go. Final level, defeat them all in twelve shots. Okay, where's the boss? Culty spawns a normie enemy in a random position when defeated. So you're a berserky. Oh, isn't there a boss? Oh, there's no boss. It's just get rid of... Oh, no, there's the boss. The boss is down there. Oh, botherations. Okay. Um... <laughs> right. Hang on, what does that do? It shoots itself towards you at the end of each turn. We've got to get rid of the berserker first because that's going to cause us problems. So, fairly hefty hit on the berserker. That goes into a pit. And now we're going to go boom, I think. Okay. Oh, okay. Ah, we got rid of another one, I think. Then we got rid of something, which is quite good. Uh, we'll then knock you into there. So you can go into there. You're going to spawn another normie, but that's okay. Ow. Okay, we just got hit by a bomb and then flung into a spike. <laughs> that wasn't a fun experience. That wasn't enjoyable at all. That was terrible. Um, okay, we will then try. If we hit you there, are you going to go down here into that hole? We'll give that a go. So wallop you. Oh, crikey. We've teleported. Oh, they didn't fall in the hole. And we just got blown up by a bomb. <laughs> and we're back over here again. Okay, marvellous. Right, we can knock you into there then. So a fairly gentle roll down there should do that. Right, boop. You go into there. You're now out of the way. Marvellous. Okay, we've got one, two, three. Oh, okay, hang on. That shot a bomb, which moved the boss. Okay, that's interesting. I don't know if that's useful or not. Uh, we're going to whack these really hard and just hope they kind of spin around and do dramatic stuff. So, boom! And uh, the boss... Oh, the boss is over here. The boss... Oh, bother. I was going to say the boss is very conveniently positioned next to a hole. Ah! Although they are still now conveniently positioned next to a hole. 
The only thing is, we've got seven shots left and five things to take out. This could be quite tricky. This could be very difficult. Okay, what if we go here? We go here, we knock you into there. Okay, so just try a fairly gentle shot like that. Okay, so one down and, oh bother, you've moved a bit. Oh, and the boss has moved, no. <laughs> the boss isn't near a hole anymore. That is, that's bad for us, bother. Okay, and then we could try to go here to knock you into that one, which would be okay. So like that, bother, we fell in. We've fallen into a hole. We've taken a bit of damage. That's not great news. We can try and hit you into there. So a fairly strong hit again, I would have thought, like that. Okay, we can try and hit you into the trap. And that should be fairly simple. So hit you into a trap. So boop into a trap. We've hit that thing, so that might trigger a bomb. And now we've got to take out... Ooh, that thing just for oh hang on if we go up here we could clip you into that spike and that will defeat you we've got three shots left okay do that boop into the spike okay oh no not into the spike and there's a teleporty thing in front of us so we can't even oh botherations okay that was looking very good and until it wasn't okay can we somehow <laughs> can we just what if we did that went along there bounced off that and hopefully push you into that spike that's what we're going to do it's it's a it's a, a a desperate attempt okay okay no this is okay we've got one shot i'll oh, bother oh yeah into that hole into that hole fall in fall in okay right we need to oh the angle isn't quite right is it the angle isn't quite there. Oh no. Okay, we might possibly stutter and falter on the very, very final ball. This is it. This is our final shot. We need to knock you into this hole here. If you fall in, brilliant. Everyone's happy and it's all glorious. If not, we've gone through the entire 10 levels and fallen at the very, very end. But I think that's all we can do. Oh, hang on. Hang on, why are we doing that? Why don't we try and knock you into that one there, which is significantly bigger? Okay, do you know what? We're going to do that. Here we go. It comes down to this. It's the final, the final shot. And we're just going to go for it. Boom. And he's in. They've gone in. And we have survived. There's nobody. We win. Yes. <laughs> Brilliant. Okay, we've unlocked various things. Uh, item unlocked, fuel to the fire. Explosions destroy obstacles. Increase explosion radius by 10%. Levels contain one extra bomb. Okay, show other unlock. Ooh, okay, did we unlock many things? Guard balls. When you take your shot, shoot two mini balls to your sides. You do not collide with mini balls anymore. Oh, that's quite handy. Okay, so we unlock two things, which is pretty good. We can restart. Oh, hang on, endless. Can we do endless? Endless mode, how many levels can you clear? Enemy damage multiplier increases each level. Okay, right, so you could just keep playing and playing and playing. Um, but yeah, do you know what? I'm quite happy with that. I'm quite happy with that. We've actually got to the end. We beat 10 levels in 99 shots. I, I, that seems pretty good to me. I'm quite happy with that. And um, yeah, there we go. So yeah, there's all sorts of different oh, there's challenges. Oh, okay, challenge runs. Didn't see these before, explosives expert. Okay, oh, there's different kind of things. Picky, picky klutz. Gain plus one item, pick per level, but lose five gold and a random item at the end of each level. Oh, that's quite harsh. Okay, so there's a challenge kind of mode if you want to do that. And there is all sorts of difficulty stuff you can do. You can up the difficulty if you want to. Some more enemies, more special enemies. There's loads of things. Or you can make it nice and easy and sort of comfortable. We played on five. We played on five. So we were playing with minus one maximum health throughout the entire game. So I think we did okay. I think we did fine. And you can sort of drop it down. You can do a raid, just do one level. You can do a delve, or you can do a full crawl like we did. There's some sort of wild run thing and there's a daily challenge and various other bits and bobs. So there's quite a lot going on in Rack and Slay. But do you know what? That was great. I had fun with that. I mean, yeah, as we saw, I'm not the best at working out how the ball is gonna go in terms of, you know, physics and such. I don't play 
a lot of billiards or pool or snooker or whatever. Do you know, I can't remember the last time I played. It would have been a long, 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 long time ago, many years since I last picked up a, a cue and you know, hit the balls with it into the pockets kind of thing. So it's been a long time and I was never very good at it anyway. I never kind of worked out the angles properly or you know how to hit things. So I was never overly brilliant. And I think we saw a little bit of that in there, but I think, you know, by the end of it, we had quite a lot of useful items and I was sort of getting a bit better at sort of working out where we can hit things and you know, knock knock the balls into the other balls or maybe sort of you know, get a decent clean pot and then put our ball in the right place to then have another go. So I think, you know, by the end of it, we were sort of okay. But yeah, that was really good fun. But I like that. That was a good, fun, little sort of uh, a little very different dungeon crawler with a bit of a twist on it because you, know, you don't normally have to pot the enemies you normally just go and blow them up or whatever. So, you know, that was quite fun. It gave it a different spin on it, if you'll pardon the pun. Pun entirely intended, awful pun intended. But uh, yeah, that was very enjoyable. That was a lot of fun. And um, yeah, as we've just seen, there's quite a lot of different ways to play as well with challenges and, you know, daily challenges and different difficulties and all that kind of stuff. So uh, yes, there we go. That was Rack and Slay. And I'm very glad that we took the time to go and have a look at it. But yes, we shall wrap things up for now. Hopefully you did enjoy this. If you did, please do leave a like that would be most marvellous indeed and also if you're not already then please do subscribe to keep up today with all the other bits and bobs and nonsense that we get up to in the geek cupboard but for now thank you very much for joining me in the geek cupboard and i'll see you next time oh no not the piggy wigs want them to be healthy happy pigs please raspberries 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 everywhere i went through and sold a load of turkeys as well and they still come back they're still coming back to haunt me the storm moisture's going down we need rain we need rain What's going? <laughs>